Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And we got some fun stuff today. Um, I do have a giveaway and it is through Born Pretty. So I am going to show you some Born Pretty things that I have and I don't know, do something with my newly stubbed nails. I cut all my nails off. They're super short as you can see. <laughs> and um, we're just going to do a short nail designs. And I have been on the hunt for a drill for you guys that is reasonable, um, you know, for beginners that just to prep your nails, not so much to like remove enhancements or anything like that, just to remove gel polish and to, uh, you know, prep your cuticles. <laughs> and anyway, here's the box. I mean, yeah, it come in a box, but it's from Born Pretty. So, uh, like I said, been trying to find something reasonably priced that you guys could use. Let's take this all out of the box. And I don't know if this is it. I haven't tried it yet. I just got it out of the box and we're going to plug it in and we're going to try it. Um, I put this black gel on last night and I didn't get it cured good enough. And so this morning it was like flaking off. I didn't notice that it wasn't cured all the way. And that's the problem I have with thumbs when you go to cure. You're not paying attention. And your thumb's sitting sideways like this under the lamp. Uh, and you're not curing it by itself. <laughs> yeah. It says it is um, variable speed from 3,000 to 2,000 with an extra zero. So I think that means 20. So it goes from 3,000 to 20,000 RPMs. Which... 3,000, that's good. Um, lightweight design, easy to use. Uh, it does come with prep bits. These, these are really not good for anything but prep or taking the shine off of gels to soak them off. I really don't like these bits, but we're going to use them. Uh, really, the only useful one in here, I believe, is the mandible one that you can put the bands on, the sanding bands. And this one is fine. I can tell it's a fine band. These are definitely more coarse. So let's just stick this in here to begin with. Let's see how you do it. All right, so you have to hold the button down and turn this to get your bit in and tighten it back up. Mm, I don't know. It, ooh, so there's no digital readout to tell you how fast you're going. Um, so I'm just gonna turn it on and push it down as far as it will go and start there because I really, there's a lot of vibration in this handle. Oh, let's see, I was really hoping to find you guys a cheap alternative, but I don't know that there is one. Um, a good drill is a good drill, and a junk drill is a junk drill. Always hit the, when you've got sanding bands, hit the corner of them on a file so that you're not cutting anybody or yourself. All right, the cord is kind of in my way, but does it come off? Oh, it does. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right. I mean, it's not comfortable. Um, cause I think, cause it's just not what I'm used to. Um, I mean, it'll work for prepping, but, and taking the shine off, like to get most of your gel off, and that's what most people are going to use it for, but I don't really, I don't usually start with something like that. 
but at this point you know you've got the shine off and you can soak that off pretty easily now put one of my sanding bands in it that I would use more for getting gel color off and I'm gonna put it as low as it'll go and just up a tiny bit okay I'm watching this in edit did you see that wobbling that bit going wobble wobble wobble, wobble? Yeah, no, I'm not even going to finish this. I'm cutting the rest of this out because this is not the drill for you. Please don't buy this drill. Um, sorry, Born Pretty. <laughs> uh, I don't want you to tear up your nails. And that wobbling of that bit, the bit was in tight. It's just this drill, like, mm -mm. no, okay. Let's get on with the rest of this disaster, which is my fault, not born pretties but it does turn out good in the end all right here's my drill there's no vibration it's comfortable there's a digital readout Here's something I know I like and you guys will like, and this adorable plate, 032. And a really cute little Christmas plate with some sweater stuff, snowflakes, snowman, Christmas Santa hat. So pretty, super cute. All right, so to enter the giveaway, just put enter me down below and I will um, put it in a random comment picker on Cyber Monday. So this is Black Friday. The year is 2020. Crappiest year in history. And <laughs> um, entries will be cut off on Monday when I announce the winners. That's it. So please don't keep, you know, five months from now, put enter me down there. It makes me feel bad. Just <laughs> be mindful of the date and... If you go to make a comment, the top comment, my comment will be pinned at the top and I will have closed across the top of my comment section. So you know that that, that giveaway is no longer open. Okay, I don't have any open giveaways going right now other than this one. And I do a quick turnaround. I put the, I copy the video link into a random comment picker and I let it pick the winner. I do not pick the winner. I only go through and make sure that whoever wins is subscribed to me and that's it. So make sure that your subscriptions are set to public because if I cannot see that you are subscribed to me, you have it set to private, then I I got to draw again. Okay. It is open to everyone and let's do something. What? I don't know yet. Let me figure it out. You know what? I've got some, uh, warm, pretty stamping gel. Um, let's use this and see if we can make foil stick to it. Also, while you're at Born Pretty shopping, Black Friday shopping, if you're looking for a plate with deer on it, with a whole lot of different deer prints, patterns, whatever you want to call them, this one is super cute. It's 153 and it's on the Born Pretty site, but this is a really nice one. Tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Because this stuff. And that picked up. But you see all the stuff that it leaves. Oh, I was forgetting uh, that I've got stubs now. Mm. And I'm just going to do 
like five seconds. I'm just going to cure this for like five seconds. And then let's see if foil will stick to it. Nope. Nope. Completely not sticky. So that was a fail. All right, let's see if we can salvage something out of this video. I do have Born Pretty's transfer gel and I've bought several transfer gels and never really got them to work really well with foil. And I really hate foil glue, but you absolutely can use regular foil glue. Um, but this is a tip for the transfer gels that you cure that are gels. And I skipped right over the main <laughs> event here. Uh, you put the gel on, you cure it for 30 seconds or 60 seconds, whatever your particular transfer gel says, and then you wipe that nail off with alcohol. That's right. You wipe it off, then put your foil on, and now I'm using just a lint-free wipe just to wipe the foil on there really well to make sure that it adheres everywhere and I don't have any crimples, and it did perfect. Crimple is a new word, okay? I just made that up. Here, I'll do it again this time, show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm spraying this uh, lint-free wipe with alcohol. And I've cured that transfer gel on my finger. I'm just gonna wipe it off, like you're wiping off the sticky, but you're not. It's gonna stay sticky. And then just pick up your foil. This one has individual designs on it. Super cute. Super cute. And again, I'm going to take that wipe. And that one doesn't have alcohol. It's just dry. Um, you can use your finger or whatever you want. I just find it easier. I can get the whole nail to do better. The whole transfer. And they come off perfectly every time. These foils are all from Born Pretty. And here are both stubs. <laughs> this design is really cute. I don't know. It looks much better in person. <laughs> oh, my ring. Um, this is a groove ring and it, it has a plaid. I, bought, I just bought this for Christmas from myself. There is a link below. And also, my the drill that I love is in my Amazon store. Also link below. Uh, so go check that out and there's other stuff on there that I buy regular just nail stuff So if you have any questions, please let me know Say enter me and where you're from down below. This is absolutely open to everyone across the world and Thanks for joining me you guys Bye Is Penny a ghost? <laughs> Is there a ghost? Hey, Penny. What is it? Are there ghosts down there? I don't see no ghosts. Um, wait, here's a ghost. Now there's a ghost. Yeah, Scooby scares the ghosts. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.